Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your man's Karabo Malambo, aka Kesko Fellow Christian Hassan Sotafana Komatombolo. And welcome to another episode of Kasi Prino, as proudly brought to you by Apex Varsity TV, and the SS Media Group. On today's episode, Tipete U Sia Jamini. Sia is an owner of Sia Shilas, for those of you who don't know. So, my brother, how are you? I'm not. I'm not. I'm hungry. So, for no time, I'm going to say, who is Sia Jamini? Like, a brief like, uh, description of what you see out there. Yeah. So I uh, was here. I came along with my family. Okay. I was born and raised there. White city, Kasi. It don't go in. Don't go to it. Don't go in. I'm kind. I got shy at the teas. I got shy at it. I keep it up. So yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming, Kasi. And I'm coming. I'm coming to the Kasi. I'm coming. 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 And I was raised by a single parent. Okay. Yeah, I tell my dad he's not around, he was never around, and I don't think he's over around, and I'm still cool. Okay. Okay. And yeah. So, yeah, I'll see how much it does to share this scale. Like, I can sing from this scale, everything is shining. So, yeah, my, my second question is actually um, derived from what you just said the drive. So, why entrepreneurship? What interested you? Would you know what? I want to be an entrepreneur and start a business. Yeah, so it came indirectly. Okay. To be honest now, in fact, sure. something I'm, I didn't plan to. Okay. Yeah, no cool skin, no good I want to be a super player because everything sure, went sure. very well for me. Yeah. This game, but okay. going, going, as I say, into one, I thought I wanted to be a businessman, but not understanding which business I okay, want to be. Okay, I'm a concept of con. Okay, yeah, understand yes. everyone just want to say, uh, okay, I want to be a businessman, but not understanding what kind of a business, what which kind of a right? business, which kind of an industry. Okay, we okay. yeah, understand. So, like the uh, concept is CS Chillers. How did it come about to go to Kiazi? Finally, this is the type, like you said, you didn't know what type of business you wanted to do. So this whole concept is here, she last. Finally, we go to Kiazi, how did it come about to Yo, Was it like maybe passion of, for cooking, passion for, for the people? So I just want to know, Uti, how did it like come to your mind and be, be visible? Yeah. yeah. So being in business, making it, it happens that you see a gap. So us as yeah. entrepreneurs, you sure. see a gap in a community. Sure. You understand? Then I, I was already in business whereby I was running a snack shop or okay. a tech shop okay. at that time. But now me having that vision that I want to run a legacy business, not okay. a lifestyle business. So that's totally two different businesses. Okay. You understand? So me wanting to run a legacy business, I need to think about what kind of a business can be a legacy business now. Isn't the one that was for now on a day-to-day basis? You understand? Fine, I'm running a tech shop and stuff. That's when I decided, oh, there's a huge gap in my casi, sure. which is a quarter fine. You got the corner, everyone can get it, access to quarter part now. How about I bring something different, nice, a nice, casi, nice. with a bit of VIP, and whereby people will feel sure. honored whenever by, by, by right, court, and whenever, like, whenever you go court, they'll feel that, okay, fine. I need to bring something different, a So that's why I thought, okay, let me just jump into this industry. I'm about. Okay, so I want to know um, a brief like overview of your business now. In terms of how many people do you employ? And most people know you see Shilas is in the Oyama quarter, but it's not it's not only quarters. Sharp, the quarter is the is the main basis of, of the business, but you also it's like a, a shop. You have like I think three or four branches now, ne? Yeah. For now we have five branches. You have five. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's how many in White City and other places? So we have uh, three branches in White City. Okay. Emma nine, yeah. Emma twelve, na sema fifteen. Okay. And then lawa mani, yes. Then we have another branch in Rockville. Okay. Next to here, then not far from me. Okay. Then we have another one in City of Uchi. Oh, not far from me, Hardware. But yeah. Then uh, currently we have twenty people that are employed at ICS Okay. Yeah. So I wanna know what's um, what challenges have you guys in terms of management? Have you faced in terms of CR Shilas? Maybe you know sometimes we want to discrepancies whereby maybe people they don't work according to your standards. What do you do when a person maybe uh, represents you who or what CR Shilas is? To be honest, now it's very, very challenging. Okay, it's not that easy that uh, seeing CR Shilas running or okay. anything on a day to day basis. Sure. Definitely, like any other business, we have our own internal issues that we're always trying to push and try to resolve on a day to day basis. You understand? Sure. So, one of the main of challenges that we are currently experiencing which is i can say it's national which is the uh, load shedding. shedding yes yeah it's killing the business flow but now to remember as an entrepreneur you need to always be strategic you understand that and another challenge that we have about is consistent from our employees now you understand because remember it's not easy to build a team sure. so you might be building that team then after a few weeks 
someone mess up, you have to dismiss that person, you understand me, all over again, whenever you need, introduce a new person in a team, you have to also change, okay. you, have to move, you understand, so those are one of the, those are few challenges that I'm experiencing in account. So I don't know, Guti, um, in terms of you financing the business, like how, like the first time you opened the first year's branch, who financed the business, like, was it your savings? I just want to know the story, just to get in touch with, okay, for other people now who are looking up to you, because a lot of people are looking up to you and they want to do the same in terms of entrepreneurship. So you want to know, in terms of former savings and investments, how did the first branch come come, come about? Yo, the first branch yeah. come about, like, it was a joke. Okay? Yeah, it, it, it was like, like a crazy idea. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And like, we are random cheetah, because yeah. now CS Chillers actually started as a CS snack shop okay yeah before we get to see us it was a very very snack shop they're small spice ama zimba okay and by summer sweetie and everything else like everything that you need yeah. in a snack shop you get it at see us snack shop. so basically when you've been an entrepreneur from dala from snacks sweets and then you thought to yourself okay i need to grow yeah. now i need to be in a sphere whereby people know what to kill see how by true yeah okay in terms of collaboration uh, what other businesses have you collaborated with? In terms of obviously, you know, there's complementary sub, uh, uh, complementary products. For example, we think some are, maybe more cheap, some are porta, whatever. So in terms of bread, who supplies you, or do you have a specific, a specific bakery that comes to you and delivers bread, or in your Puma or your Glam outlet now? Yeah, so I have uh, specific suppliers, especially when it comes to bread. Okay. So currently I'm using a bakery which is called uh, Oldo Bakery. Okay. Oldo Things Bakery. Okay, where is yeah. it situated? It's situated at Rockville. They are doing amazing job. Okay. With, uh, that's, I trust their bread. I've been okay. working with them, I think it's been three years or so. Yeah, so they are, they are doing their amazing things. So 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 those are the people of Filaut, okay? These ones, uh, they are in alignment with what Sia's China's believes in. So we are. Okay. And they are also uh, still a new business, so we are going to... Oh, yeah, yeah. Still, yeah. I think Pushing each other. Yeah. Also, that is what Kasipreneurs is about, you know, um, pushing other people, upcoming uh, business people, entrepreneurs, um, hustlers, creatives, artists, whoever you are, as long as you're pushing, we're with you. So, I want to know, in terms of um, assistance, did you get like um, assistance uh, for maybe government entities? Did you apply maybe for Abo Naira, the National Youth Development Agency, which is financing your projects? So, did you approach those people to come into your business ever since you started CS Chillers? Yeah, I've uh, approached those people several times, my guy. Okay. Several times, but now no one have ever funded CS Chillers. I don't okay. think there was someone who would inject time and I can okay. CS Chillers. You understand? So I started CS Chillers from the ground yeah. to where it is now. There was no funding from anyone. But you know, that you should take that as a positive because um, when people reject you, that that's that's when you should like you know step up and build yourself, tell yourself it might not work today, but in the future it will work out. And look at you now, five branches and uh, nobody funded you. So see, I wanna know because I bet no one top is and uh, I told I told Um, business now, do you usually make time for them? Do you, in terms of like check-ins, do you like maybe have an accountant or a person, a financial advisor who works for CS Shilas? I don't know about those logistics. Who does the finances for you? And now I'm a manager or a in every store. I just want to know my logistics now. Yeah, in terms of managing a business, I'm managing the business currently by myself. Okay. Then I have one of those good employees that I give trust to. Okay. But okay, when are these zero responsibility deal with this? And sure. when I deal with this, you understand? But to be honest, currently I have a strong team and I have a good team. Okay. So I don't think they need those managers you okay. understand that so everyone um, that has that is a Spanish business you understand then yeah. I, I remember in business we're setting uh, we are creating a system sure. you understand that so we create a system but even if I'm not there the sure. business can operate even if I, I'm away for a week or yeah. so the business needs There's to operate like transparency within the business so you to trust the employees yeah true and you, fine you trust my guy is totally something else yeah. you understand so because, yeah, the person. Yeah, yeah. It, it happens but now remember you need to give them trust so that they can also give you something good you understand okay. but I give them that the benefit of a doubt that okay they might be doing a good thing for a business but so far I still have a strong team and they are doing well so I can say I'm not too strict on it. Yeah, okay. I understand. So I wanna know. I saw in one of your social media accounts, is it CS Chilas? There was a workshop you were holding for your employees. Um, we wanna know, as as the subscribers and the viewers, with you, what really transpired below the workshop? Like, what were you teaching your employees in terms of maybe business principles, business ethics, um, as and as for them as leaders, what is it that they had to pick up from that uh, specific event? Yeah. So what's happening, like, like 
like any other business or a, like any other business organization sure it, it's very very helpful to have uh, at least now and then meetings sure and now and then training so that you can also improve and also grow the business you understand sure. but now you can't be just running the business without meetings without one-on-ones without yeah. um training sessions how are you going to grow you understand we really need to guard as a team also we need to communicate see where is here like i'm also human beings i yeah, need to get feedback mistakes, for yes, my yes, team you yes. understand so you guys need to tell me how am i treating you how can i improve on my leadership skills you sure. understand then yeah then also as as a as CSG, as you are doing a training you understand we do offer training for other organizations for what and also for other businesses okay you understand so i think uh, i think a month ago we were training uh, with what you saw on social media yes, we training yes, yes, yes. an organization also it was for another for other people yeah okay, yes, nice, you nice. understand whereby i share my business knowledge i okay. share my business experience with them okay. i teach what i can teach i share what i can share yeah. that doesn't mean i'm a superior in business you understand i'm still also learning, yeah, you're learning. you understand and i'm also learning them uh, um, training them on how to do a to manage a business yeah, yeah. So you said a very important point there in terms of um, business meetings. So I also have a team. They don't understand the emphasis of us having a meeting. Like, <laughs> please, 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 um, for all the business people out there or people that work in teams, please emphasize how, how important it is to have like meetings on a weekly basis. Okay, it doesn't have to be every day, maybe weekly or fortnightly or monthly. How important is it for you guys to you know have sessions whereby you rectify each other's mistakes for actually for obviously growth purposes so how important is it for you guys to actually have meetings and um i usually say i call them uh development uh yeah, development meetings whereby we can regroup refocus and re-establish ourselves why is it important for you guys to have that Yo, it's very key for each and every team to have yes, you yes. understand because you are able to reflect on our work because you can't be working then you are not able to reflect where are we coming from Chap. from as a girl, where are we going where how going? far yes. are we That's very understand. important yes. so it's very very key for us as a team to always have a meeting because if you have, you don't have meetings and calls you're just gonna drift around and you know yeah you won't, won't see the progress or Chap. moving or not moving and stuff you understand Chap. So it's very very key for each and every team to have a meeting and also we are able to set, uh, tell each other that hey baba we yeah. need to pull up the socks baba we are still as a team yeah. you understand now we can go because we link but you are as good as your weakest person in the team you understand yeah. sure. so we need to tell each other and it's not personal sure. we need to be clear on the meeting whenever you start each and every meeting we are clear that nothing is personal we just share each and everything and you're making sure that we improve each other as a team okay i have like two questions there um uh, it basically is the same so if someone wants to work for cs chillers what is it that they have to have like in terms of um, uh, maybe qualifications or um, uh, skills what is it that they have to have to come and work for or be part of the cs chillers <coughs> so one of the main factors or one of the main reasons we are, we are building cs chillers and we are planting more shops around so okay. we can say around how to uh, is creating employment and making sure that on we are able to have Cash flow bar. So I don't think there's someone who needs to have a, a qualification to a CSC. Okay. Just, just passion for food and be open minded. You understand? Then yeah. sometimes even if you do not have that passion, sure. but you just be willing to work, you understand, willing to learn also and we and be coaching and, and grow, yes. And yeah, be willing to grow because I'm not I don't I'm not expecting anyone to make a CSC for long. Yeah. Long as time, then there's no improvement. Like a fungo manager, a fungo by sharp, just like you just stagnant. Yeah, yeah, I don't want that. So I just want to see people growing. Even if you are not with CH in the next coming few months, you need to get a better job. Sharp, and also can start. So you, business we can say CH like Shira is like a starting point in life whereby people maybe if they want to be in the hospitality business or from Shama Savings, you can go on Kalo Plus. To be honest, Kalada, if you want to start a business, you have you have you have passion for your business. You are passionate about growth. Sure. Kalada, any kind of a business you can come to me and Sabonisa, and there are yeah, people coming from Isias Chilas there. Abanye yeah. banama got the business, or abo abanye da hani. Just to give each other ideas. That's yes. what I want to see. We do for like we do for amongst us about the world. Which which is which is good. Um, and in terms of the things you sell, besides the quota. And of course, some other goods. What else can you find in the business? In the business, uh, we can find anything that you can find a tech shop. Okay. So we are selling everything in the grocery shop. Yeah, sure. it's a tech shop, automatically. So I want to know, um, my goals for Usi as an entrepreneur, for you uh, as an individual, what goals do you have for for the future? You before the business as Usi Akta. I mean, as Usi Akta, I just want to see. Um, 
more shops. Sure. I want to see so it's yellow being planted with okay. Like I want to see how thing yellow go big in go bold or go yeah, home. Yeah, it's either you go bold or you go home. Nice, nice. So I want to see CS Silas all over how thing. I want to see CS Silas all over so it's so sure. and I just want to see uh and I was I want to see myself in a different industry space, you understand? Sure. I don't want to see myself in a fast food industry for for a longest time. Fine, I see as Silas can continue, but I want to also find myself in different industries, you understand? Sure. So that's for you as an individual and as, as an entrepreneur. So for Isias for Isias Chilas as a business, what are the objectives? What are the goals for the future? For Isia specifically. Specifically, yeah. Now, for Isia Chilas now, yeah. uh, my vision is to see Isia Chilas nationally, whereby now we are able to create a lot of people yeah. and also that you are so called. Like it's a big brand, yes. Yeah, I want to see Isia Chilas as a big brand and also I want to create more employment based on Isia Chilas and you understand. So I wanna know, uh, do you plan on doing any pop-up events? Uh, maybe where you're gonna have like people come in to taste the CS Chilas, maybe at a certain venue or a certain place. Do you plan on doing that in the future? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I am planning on doing that because okay. now I've been getting a lot of approach from my name, what's Gosh, happening? Yeah. Are you doing event? What's sure. happening? You understand? But it's something that I need plan on me and the team because now. Uh, as human beings, man, I'm going to see them not doing kinda also. Sure. Understand? Sure. We, we, we might be strong at a certain department. I can be strong at certain yes. department. So, so, so when it's on a basically. Yeah, you understand? So with venue, it's something we learn. You understand? Okay. And I'm still working on learning on how to create the venue. We know it's funny. Okay. Yeah, my logistics for the venue. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Then I so can't do it. So, if you are planning on doing a pop-up event for food tasting, so can we see? I like maybe a mini quarter. Sia's uh, Quota Festival, something yeah. like that. Yeah, before before end of the year, maybe we do something okay. like for Sia's Quota uh, Festival. Yeah. Nice. With that said, I want to know. Um, there's people who are gonna be viewing this, obviously. What 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 what's your advice uh, for somebody like you, someone who wants to grow in terms of business, you know, in terms of maybe hospitality or events, or someone who just wants to start whatever craft they wanna do? What advice can you give to that person who goes, okay, one day I wanna be like Sia, and I'm in cool and actually explore a lot of things? What advice can you give to those people? Yeah, the advice I share I'm fine, I would say like uh, it needs a lot of patience, okay, a lot of sacrifice. Yeah, then I think now it needs love also. In passion, yes. Yeah, you and like we to do my time. And you also need to go to you are gonna fail in it while doing it. You understand because there's a lot of flaws and there's a lot of yes. uh, failures in my experience and sure. there's a lot of lessons yes. through those failures and those then yeah. like I'm I am who I am because of where it's here she's being upon us. So yes. you just need patience, man the king. Yeah, one like, like a sense yeah. of me too much. Because you're gonna fail, fail and people don't understand what the failure is part of uh, uh, process is part of success. You understand? Sure. Yeah. So I'm like, since I'm a meter man, the king. So look, so I'm all about to run, but definitely, one day uh, we're getting there, the king. We're so, there. um, how do you find you on social media? Of see, I want I mean, do you have maybe a Facebook, Instagram? How do we find you? Okay, on social media we are see us chillers. Okay. On Instagram, then uh, on Facebook we are see us fast. Uh, see us fast food. Okay. Yeah. So that's for Instagram and Facebook. You don't have Twitter. I know Twitter. And okay. Know and then when as a as a as an individual person, are you also on IG or use those accounts for 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 business? Okay. On Facebook, I have my personal Facebook is Sia Wonga Okay. Facebook. Then no Instagram. Okay. So Instagram, I can push out through the Sia Chilas page. Yeah. So with Instagram, it's only business. I don't use okay, anything nice, for any personal nice. Instagram and other social. So yeah, in terms of my social media, it's only for your business. That's it. Yeah, no, man. Um, shout out to Sia, guys, for coming through. Um, you really inspire a lot of us. A lot of people are looking up to you. I am one of those people. Because I remember, I think it was in 2018, yeah. I posted a thing on Facebook. I was like, we're not uh, really motivated by guys. It's always women who are doing it. Yeah. So seeing guys like you actually pushing it, making it, uh, inspires a lot of us. And not see one day when uh, you know push things that are going to be visible and beneficial to the community. But yeah, man, um, shout out to you. Shout out to Apex Varsity TV, Silent Patience, SAS Media Group. Otherwise, from me, your man's Karao Malambe, KK, Skofilu, Kristan, Nafsan, Shota, Fana, Koma, Tombolo. Adios. Ah, go for your name. Okay. I'm funny, Paza, Paza, and Paza. I'm funny, Paza, Paza. I see in the fact that you can also get a million people who are going to share a song with your friends, you understand? That's perfect. It's great unity. Amongst us. Paza, Paza, Buffett. Yeah, let's do it. Always. <laughs>